Hi, my name is David Ramirez, and I'm going to show you how to hit a forehand. First of all, I'm going to hit a few balls, and then secondly, I'm going to break down my stroke step by step. And last of all, we're going to show you a video of Roger Federer's forehand slow motion video. There are two ways to hit a forehand. The first, more traditional way to hit a forehand is following through by your shoulder. The second way, which I'm going to show you, is follow through by your hip. That's for more topspin and power. When I see the player make contact or hit the ball, I want to split step so I can move in either direction. Then, when I see it's a forehand, I turn my shoulders with my left hand on the racket, and then I take a step forward with my left foot. The reason I take my racket back with my left hand is so I get a full shoulder turn. That is for maximum power. Then I put my hand out in front so I have a form of measurement for my contact point. Most people start off their swing with their arm and the racket. The more powerful way to start off your swing is to lead with your hips and then let your arm follow. You need to have the butt of the racket pointing towards the court and then you make contact with your strings perpendicular to the ground. One of the biggest mistakes people make when hitting a forehand is taking their eyes off the ball. You need to have your target in mind and hit the ball with your eyes on the strings all the way until the ball leaves your strings. Another important thing to do is to drop your rack head below the ball and come up through it. That is to generate topspin. It's important to have a good weight transfer. You need to start off with your back foot, weight on your back foot, and then go forward. And you could check this by making sure that your heel is off the ground when you're finished with your stroke. Another mistake a lot of people make is not finishing the stroke. To, to have balance, you need to finish the stroke all the way around and catch it by your hip. A real key thing is to be relaxed. Keep your knees bent, keep a loose grip, and the more relaxed you, you, you are, the better you'll be. All the things we've talked about, you'll see in the best players, like Roger Federer. Let's watch a slow motion video of his great forehand.
I hope you enjoyed this tennis forehand video. Have fun on the courts.